what is going on you guys welcome to today's video i'm gonna keep this intro as short as possible i know this video is already pretty long but i was able to fit an entire year long of videos into this one video under one hour so i'm pretty proud of that um i decided to do the entire year versus like a top 10 or top 5 just because the channel has grown so much this year which thank you guys so much for that it's been absolutely amazing but i want to do the entire year in case you've missed a video here or there uh, i know 2020 has had a lot of ups a lot of downs um it's been a crazy year and just all together but we've had a lot of good times this year a lot of traveling a lot of new places we did a lot of fun things so here is the 2020 recap again thank you guys so much for all the support of this year it's been absolutely amazing Hope you guys enjoy. Yo, it sounds like a war zone out here. Yeah, New Year's in Germany. It sounds like a complete war zone out here. I love it. <laughs> this is so sick. Oh my God. Yo, Germany goes hard. All right guys, that's it. Happy New Year's. We're officially in 2020 here in Germany. It's gonna be a dope year. I can't wait. I cannot wait. So right now, I want you guys to guess down below what car do you think will be pulling through the gates here in just a little while? Oh, there it is as we speak. Well, good morning, man. Hello, nice to see you back. Thank you for bringing my car over. <laughs> I'm really excited to take it off your hands. Okay, so with the oil drained out of the pan, there's a there's a fair amount of carnage good morning you guys it's currently about six o'clock in the morning i'm a little bit tired but we got the uh got the bags all packed here we got the uh passport the wallet we're heading to florida today from florida well, ladies and gentlemen we made it dang boys look what we got oh man the good old, the original daily, the Mark V 2.5, man. A little bit of a mission to find Greg's house. The garage is open, I think we're good. Oh, I'm so excited. Look what I see. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Oh, I haven't seen Christine in so long. Are we getting a good old cold start? I haven't seen that tip today, it isn't sick. Okay, let me get right up in here. So we just made it to Hector's house. We're having a surprise party for his wife, but it's gonna be a double surprise because now I'm here. I don't think any of them know besides Greg. So this should be exciting. Hi. Oh, oh, what's hey. up, buddy? Hey. Whoa. Hey, I'm sorry, Wait. but I'm. Still... Oh, this isn't this isn't Germany. I'm sorry. I gotta go later. I'm I gotta get out of here. Steal. Look, the next man's here. Mr. Drum himself. What's up, man? I know. No one knows. It's a surprise, surprise. All right. Well, they're in there. I'm gonna take me a little sneak peek at a. Uh, Hector's little green, ooh, man. Looking a little dirty, not gonna lie, Hector, but yo, this is one of the cleanest Mark III golfs around. Hey! <laughs> How's that, buddy? What's up, dude? Todo, pero, una vez me gustaría hacer algo así en casa, but como tú dijiste, hide the... Yeah, you can hide Heading down three hours to Fort Myers to Paul's house, where hopefully I can show you his Mark I project and also his beautiful Mark II. And then tomorrow we're going to Miami to go see the Opt uh, facility here in Miami. And then also MTM, which I'm pretty sure MTM is like supercars, I think. Either way, a lot of cool stuff happening very soon. Lots of Volkswagen stuff. And then, uh, yeah, it's be fun. Well, I just met Paul's son, so Paul's not home yet, but they opened the garage and...
So we'll head over to the garage now and see the Mark 1. us here i think it was two years ago we were helping paul prep all the packs right here on this table for euro tripper six and now back for euro tripper seven so all this stuff is like show prep stuff but here's the mark one so last time i saw they're still painted i think and a few pieces here and there but now it's completely complete bare onza motorsports mtm, MTM. well geez yeah. i wasn't sure what i was expecting but uh this is this is lovely. You can't go wrong with this. Also, the whole BBS setup here. Got the LMs, some center locks over there. So this is the shop car here. I see quite a bit done to this one. The carbon yeah. fiber intake. This is stage two. Has a little over 500 horsepower. Has a couple other things. It does zero to six in another three seconds. So. Jeez, these cars have been doing work on the track. I've been seeing. Yeah. <sighs> this room right now. Like I can't show four of the cars in here, but <laughs> just like. <laughs> oh my goodness. Listen, I can't film that way, but all of the, look, look, look at this. Just incredible, look at that back there. Incredible amount of just really, really cool cars. There she is. I said, like, I love this car, I can appreciate it. It's beautiful, performs well, but just the F50 just has, I like it more. I said, unpopular opinion, I just like it more. Race car after race car after race car after race car. <laughs> So this is launch control. Oh. oh my God. All right, boys and girls, we got them. Like I said, you've seen these wheels before. Like when you see them, you're like, oh, those wheels, but they are, they're one of the best thing wheels I think around. So here, right, three, two, one, and bam. HRE 505s, ding, all ready to go. It's crazy in a few weeks, he's will actually be in Germany. Super excited for these going on the Savoy. There you go. Very special day. I'm at Sammy's house right now, about to pick up my shirts and see them for the first time in person. Is this them? Pull one out. I want to see them in person. I'm so excited. Dang, that came out so good. Look at the back. That's so sick. Look at this thing. Woo. This thing looks good. This thing looks so good. It's so cool to see the side by side. The white one and the black one. We are officially here. I have not been to OSW in like. Well, like 10 years, yeah. if not more. more, more. Mm.
269 at 206 miles an hour. <laughs> Listen, sure. I will see you Saturday, but this was yes, so awesome. much fun. fun. Like, this thanks. is so much fun. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, thanks for the invite for sure. This is awesome. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit chilly today, but good morning you guys. Welcome to today's video. We finally made it to Euro Tripper. Thank you for coming. See you next year. Hey. And possibly we'll see you also in Helen, Georgia. So join us. <laughs> As it is, boys. Another Euro Tripper in the books. This is a good one. This is a really good one. And I got to ride in some really cool cars, which we're about to go ride in the 36 Supercharged Mark III. And I can't wait. Paul did it. All right, we have the GoPro hooked up in the back for maximum VR6 supercharger sounds. We're about to go for a ride in this car. I've been waiting all day for this. Hey, you can't tell by my already massive smile. I'm so excited. Dennis, thank you for taking me for a ride, man. It definitely means a lot. I'm quite excited for this. Second, third, and 
forth yeah, and it was still spinning. Wow. <laughs> wow. I've ridden in a lot of fun cars, but this one is definitely. It puts a big smile on your face. Yo, sure. this like <laughs> the big. That's what cars are about. If it's like just fun and enjoyable, I don't really care what it is. If it puts a smile on your face, that's what it's about. And man, this car gets it. <laughs> It's around six pounds, but I'm not a hundred. This is only six pounds of boost. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I guess when you start with, with a really good base, the 36 is an awesome base, has so much torque, and then you add boost on top of it. Yeah, factory. It's That's cool. wild. Close to 300 with a you know full exhaust and other stuff. It should yeah. Be right around there. I mean, you know, torque. Now. That's wild. This thing's awesome. Electric windows, it's got AC, power steering, and it's full functioning cruise control 36 swap supercharged. Yeah. You did it right. You definitely did it right. <laughs> I appreciate that. Alright man, Dennis, listen man, I appreciate it. Congrats on your trophy, you definitely deserved it. Thank you. This thing is crazy. It's nice to actually see this car out again. Those wheels look so good on that car and the car looks great. Look at that. Both the wagons getting covered in some snow. For the first time ever, Miley's in the snow. Oh, I love it, she looks so good. <laughs> Got ourselves a black. V5 4 motion. And right on she goes. No trouble at all. Nice. It sounds like it's running good. I don't hear any like squeaky belts. I don't hear any chain noise.
she's out. Oh, oh, baby. <laughs> you see that? Can you look at this. Uh, oh piston meat valves, valve meat piston. Holy crap. There it is. That sounds good. Not bad. It's so sort of a VR6, but just a little yeah. bit different. There she is. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, I know. It shook the house. <laughs> now it's obnoxious. Before it was like good, but now it's just it's loud. If you're not following Fabulous, make sure you do so. They absolutely hooked it up. And bam. Oh, there they are. Wow, they look incredible. So, as you can see, the color is obviously based off the Savoy. Beautiful gold here. And if you look really closely, right there it says the Savoy Project. How amazing. Tune it in, but this is just for us now. We know I ain't balling yet. Hoes wanna holler, oh no, I don't call them back. Girl, let me see you hold it down. We gon' have a blast. Cause I just wanna know what you're gonna do with all of that. Ain't gotta say a word. I know what's so. up. You can have it all. Watch me rip it off. I'll admit. The time has finally come. Got into the keys for the Savoy because today we are officially pulling the engine. But she is officially free chilling in the corner where it'll sit and hopefully this one will buy it i don't know i don't need it but it's out oh yeah ready to start spraying i'm excited to see i hope i hope under all this dirt there's a lot of nice nice color but we'll see first round down and it's actually looking 
really really good so this is just water no cleaner yeah i just want to hit everything get the big stuff out of the way so as you can see like this section is really nice this stuff will come off it just takes a little bit more um like persuasion so probably, once i get some cleaner on there and maybe kind of scuff a little bit it'll come off a lot easier but for the most part all the rails all this actually looks pretty pretty nice if i can get all of this out of here and like that stuff and the rest of this corner i'm not quite sure what this stuff is it's almost like it was some sort of like protective coating they put over the engine rails and then all the dirt got stuck on top of it but now underneath it's like brand new for 1994 factory paint in the engine bay this is amazing I'll tell you what my arm is on fire but well worth it look at that shine I still have more to do, obviously, but I pretty much did this section to about here. I still have some more to do in this kind of area. I did a little bit of this, but like, I'll put another picture on the screen right here of the before and after. It's just insane. I still can't believe this paint is from 1994 and look at the reflection in it. It's so smooth now, man. That's crazy. We are back. It's time to finish pulling the VR6 out. So all right boys there she is our 12 valve vr6 but we still have these stock 2.0 256 millimeter rotors and going to a much larger 280 millimeter also with the g60 slash gti caliper but those look so good i said this brake setup wasn't necessarily bad i never had any issues with it but like look at that look at that oh my god look at it how insane is that? We are literally at the Nürburgring in Miley. A life dream. This is so cool. We had to stop for a picture real fast. Look at this, wait for it. Bam, I cannot believe my little car, my first car from Florida and the R32, we have made it to the Nürburgring. That is insane. Woo, we are on the Nervic Ring. I haven't gone anywhere yet, but I'm so excited. fronts are done these things look so mean compared to these ones so 185 55 versus a 205 50 these are sick i can't wait to try them out the v5 here because this week more specifically today and probably tomorrow the v5 is coming out well, uh, her last few taps here before we uh yank her out of there let you hear it from like right here it's such a good sound boys and we'll turn her off and that's it yeah we're off okay she's out Whew. after a very long day the vr5 is finally out so cool to actually see this thing in the car man oh man i love it like I mentioned in the last video, we're actually heading to Switzerland. Yeah! Some Swiss franc money. Look how nice that is. It's like Monopoly money. The view's insane. Like, it looks fake. It looks ridiculous. We're actually in the clouds. Like, yo, this is out of control. Just clear for miles. There's actually snow at the top of all these mountains up here. How insane is that? Look at that. Do on top of the easily one of the most epic spots in the entire world and it's cool to watch these clouds like come roll over the mountains and then go over those ones behind us such a beautiful spot uh, oh we flying oh we flying Oh, 
I almost went down the mountain. Oh my God, are you okay? Oh, we're good. It's finally chilled out. So now we can start on this thing. There we go, boys. Another engine pulled, another VR pulled. Yes, give me this. Rotate. Yes, yes, great success. So there we have it. One fully disassembled, well, minus the crank and the pistons, but everything else is off, all the timing chains, all the guides, um, the oil sender, the trans, the clutch, all the accessories, everything that we need for the new block is off. Is officially ready to finally go back in. It actually went pretty fast, honestly, though. The VR60 is finally back in the wagon. Ooh, right on. Like, no hesitation, just right on. Now, once some oil gets into the head, it should quiet back down a little bit. Yo, she started right up, like no hesitation, no funny business, just on. That's what I'm talking about. Woo, what a sound. The VR6 lives again. Jeez. We got sway bars for Miley. So rear's done, front is all done. Yo, this is so cool. Christian, nice to meet you. Me. What a beautiful car. Dang, those are really clean. So freshly powder coated, brand new center caps, 18 by eight and a half BBS CH002s. Wow, you have all the RS's so like <laughs> just sets and sets. So cool to finally see this car in person. Such a cool car. Came out really clean too. Yeah. VR5 is finally leaving us. The chariot has arrived. There she goes, boys. Our little V5 is heading out of here. Like I said, we'll see the car again. I have to go to the junk cart and pull everything also off like all the four motion stuff. But she gone, she leaving. Here she is, and I actually, I own this one. My very first Vento, which is cool. Some of the most exciting words of all time out for delivery. Two in the boxes here, one and two. We actually have the Air Ride for the R32 from Castor Air. What is this? What is that? Is that air ride? Wait, what is this? Is that mine? Wait, are you just saying this right now? Stop! What? Stop! Why do you always no, do this to me? What do you mean? <laughs> He said, I might want to record this one. I'm ready.
three engine mounts and the exhaust and this thing is ready to come out of here all right and just like that another 1.8 has been removed there it is that's what i was looking for hand them over so that before you get the car in december whenever it gets to you i'll have it all sorted out don't you worry all right now we tear it apart Look at that. Tubular front cross support and tubular control arms. Oh yeah, well, look at that, Mark 7, yeah, Mark 7 GTI. Not a bad little spot. It's super cool to see like, nice beach, and then mountains in the distance. Pretty much everything, like I said, this is like 98% of the pieces here. We have to go pick up the coolant pipe from Richard today as well. Beautiful, it looks <laughs> like a piece of art. No painting today, but I'll try and get the block as clean as I can. Got our paint ready to go. I'm excited to see how uh, this comes out. I love it. This stuff came out so, so good. Shout out to TriStar Color, cause yo, this stuff came out really, really nice. The color looks awesome. I haven't seen it next to the car yet. I'm not sure if it matches 100%, but it looks to be the same, which is my timing chain kit for the VR5. We did it, boys. We did it. Like I said, this engine block wasn't too dirty to begin with, but it's about to look way, way better. So cool. I love this wrinkle effect. It just looks so, so cool. These are all nice and dry and looking super OEM plus like. Compared to how nice the bottom end looks, the top end has to be looking perfect. So that's what we're about to do. Okay, my first time using this paint and honestly, it came out amazing. Today, I want to wrap this in the heat wrap. I'm not a professional by any means, but I do think it came out pretty good. Look how sick that looks. This engine is coming together so nicely. Off there. Yeah, off of that. She be looking fresh. Nice clean oil pan, all nice shiny hardware. All these spark plugs are in. One final look at the super, super crusty power steering pump. And just like that, our power steering pump looks brand new. The Vento is finally leaving us today. Oh yeah. Oh, she's gone. The Vento's gone, boys. It was fun. That was a fun car to have. Got a lot of pieces from it. And honestly, to have it leave like that, you couldn't have asked for a better ending. But results came back today and she tested positive for coronavirus. But not just any oil cap. A Bentley oil cap. That does add an awesome touch to the engine. And just like that, we have ourselves yet another beautiful wrinkled black piece. Voila, fancy. So until I have hardware, it'll just be like that. I want to mount this right down here. Like so. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the entire subframe out of the car, go through, clean it up. There's our subframe. We got her, boys. There it is. I'm 
I'm gonna let the subframe dry until tomorrow, then we'll flip it over into the bottom side. Does it look so much better? I think it's nice and smooth, all nice and coated. Yep, we got a lot of uh, a lot of organizing to do here. It's coming together. It's crazy to see all these pieces back. I mean, it's been like a bare block and head for the longest time. So it's cool to see all these pieces back on it again. I love all the detail. I love the Bentley cap. I love the paint match stuff, the OEM hardware. Like it's come together really nicely. But it's cool to see all the hard work pay off. A massive little art piece at this point. I love the details and just, I could stare at this thing all day. Ooh, I'm so excited for this front end refresh. You guys know, I love seeing things side by side. So it's cool to put this old crusty setup next to our nice brand new setup. One, two, three, bam. Oh my goodness, look at that piece. Other than that, like, whew, it looks sick. Clutch has been acquired. Today is finally the day we're putting the upgraded clutch into the VR6 turbo wagon. Yeah, thank you. Wow. That sucks. Old clutch setup is out, and you can see all of the heat spots just all over the flywheel. The part is done. The new Clutch Master FX400 is in and good to go. 120 in the morning, but the trans is back in. And just like that, she is back on the ground. The wagon is good. We got an upgraded clutch, breaking miles time, and then, oh boy, we gonna rip this thing. And Our subframe refresh is officially done. It's only three pounds of boost, that's ridiculous. Just like that, our final drive in the VR6 wagon has been completed. It was a good ride, very, very cold, but we had some fun. It's been a fun run. I wanna miss this car. Badly boys, we gotta hand over the keys. All right, boys, that's it. The chapter of the VR6 turbo wagon is over, at least for here in Germany. We'll see it in the States again, but for now, we're done.
time, take my wagon, take her wagon to the Autobahn and see which one is gonna be faster. Oh, the first gear power. Oh, long gears, long gears, long gears. Oh, it's close. Oh, it's close. Oh yeah, I just have the gearing. That's what I'm talking about, let's go. Had no idea this was gonna happen, but when good deals come up, you gotta snag them. So, I guess without further ado, um, my new car? Uh. Seeing this sticker, knowing this car was sold from a dealership in Barcelona, Spain, and now it's back here, I think that's pretty cool. We got the wagon all loaded up, all the luggage back there. Didn't tell you guys, but we're going on a little bit of a trip today, so you'll see whenever we get there. If you haven't already guessed, we are, uh, we're in Florida. This is my wife's Mark 6 GTI. Hey, man. <laughs> if you're wondering where my love for cars came from, um, yeah. <laughs> so before we go ahead and race, leave your comments down below. Mark 6 or Mark 7. Oh, got it that time. That's what I figured. Very, very fun. So, good driving. So, for anyone who's new to the channel, this is my 2010 Mark V Jetta 2.5. She's a little bit cold. Got the whole icicles going. Official Smith Falls right there. GTI is looking a little bit frosty today. Woke up this morning and it was 25 degrees, a little bit cold, but the car is packed up. This is our last morning here. We're heading back to Florida. If you guys don't remember, this is Paul's Mark 7.5R in the beautiful, beautiful purple. Well, my phone says 12, but this is at 40 seconds, but Happy New Year's, we made it. Doing just fine before I met you I drank